Hey there, my name is Dimitri from Text Cortex, and in today's video, we are excited to bring you our brand new Notion integration. This Notion integration is for all of you Notion fans that have been trying to find a way to integrate your amazing, not only text-based knowledge and data inside of Notion, but also your database-based knowledge and information with a large language model, and more specifically, our great product, Text Cortex. This Notion integration is going to be a game changer for how you can utilize knowledge bases in order to interact with everything that has been written down, added to your databases, and worked on in your system. It also is pretty usable for things like asking questions regarding what are the next action items that need to be done, mattering on what kind of knowledge you add to that database from Notion, which I'm gonna work through. So if you're looking to import your pages and database items into Text Cortex, be sure to stick around for this video. But first and foremost, what is a knowledge base? So inside of Text Cortex, you can create a knowledge base. As you can see, I have a few here that are based off of a lot of different things you can add to it. So if I go inside of one right here that I already have, also I, I can make one from scratch over here if I want, but I'm gonna use uh, this personal SaaS product knowledge as an example one first. So this SaaS product knowledge is great. Um, it's very effective for getting questions answered regarding different SaaS products that I wanna learn about. And what I did there was I simply added web URLs and some files. And not only can I do that just from like a normal web URL where I can paste this in here and add it. For example, if I went to a product like this, and learn more about project management tips from uh, ClickUp. You can paste this in here, add the URL, and then it's added to my knowledge base. So then when I ask a question about ClickUp, say I'm trying to write a script about the best project management tools, let's go to start chat here. And as you can see, this personal SaaS product knowledge is selected and I can use whatever model I want. What are some of the best project management features in ClickUp. And you can see it's coming from that source and it gives me some of the answers and actually references the source in here, right? So this is great. This is exactly what I wanna do. Now, let's do that with Notion, right? So I have a knowledge base I've already created and in here, you can see this has actually got some of my Notion pages already as well as the database items. So if I press add here, I wanna simply utilize the Notion integration so I can link a new account, which is gonna be what it's asking you to do in the first place, by going through this and then selecting the pages that you want. So I already have this added. I can add other ones and then press allow access. But since I wanna start from scratch, let's just remove the integration altogether and start over, show you how it works. Let's go here, press link new account. And what I'm gonna select is a few different things like my internal content calendar for my own YouTube channel as well as let's grab another thing like, I think it's called the sales pitch and rebuttal framework, which I wrote out to, to help me with uh, different calls that I'd have with potential people I'd be working with. Um, whether you're selling anything, it's very useful. So we actually now have this here and you'll see you have the ability here to uh, sync it on a consistent basis or daily. So I wanna sync this daily so that it can keep all of my items here up to date for my content database, as well as answer questions about my methodology for sales. So it is syncing. When it's done syncing, it'll end up saying active. Uh, you'll see this in here that essentially it's like processing all the different files that are within it. So for a moment, it'll do that. It is a pretty large database. As you can see here, the status is active now that it's synced. So, so let's start a chat. Uh, let's ask it a question. What is the name of the podcast that is set to be scheduled on this Saturday? Look at that, Saturday. I have a podcast coming out Saturday. And that is very true. It is called 170 Setting Your New School Year Schedule. See right here? I click on this. Wow. Connected to the database item. That is very impressive for those of you who are unaware. There's not AI right now that can do this. It referenced a specific piece of content and the query also figured out different podcasts that are scheduled in the future, right? So that's, that's pretty great. Please give me a summary of this sales pitch rebuttal framework. As you can see here, it gave us an outline for things like stories to tell, the sales pitch, pre-problem argument, rebuttals, circumstances, a downselling ladder, upselling, 
and then closing line slash questions. Now this can be improved upon in the sections by making sure that things are in a straight line and that headers aren't necessarily disconnected from their text. So if I wanted to, I could ask questions about things under specific headers and to that effect, make the text more readable. Like I wrote a lot of different things under like toggle headers and stuff. This is gonna focus more on like groups of text, right? Rather than a bunch of lines like I did here. So please make sure that you actually adjust this if you're trying to bring it into a you know better format for uh, syncing it with Notion. Now, something really nice about text core text that's pretty amazing is that if you want, you can actually use the Chrome extension to retrieve different knowledge from pages like this. So for example, if I go here, I can press this add page right here and then I'll go to rise productive, press confirm. So I'm adding it to this knowledge base and then I could ask questions of this specifically. So I wanna learn more about like, what are my overall thoughts on Twitter strategy for growing a platform audience on Twitter and simply by going into Notion and pressing that button and adding it, I can make it an easy addition into my knowledge base. And then you can see it is added to my system here. And if I click on it, it goes right back to this page. Now, something I want you to do is just simply appreciate the fact that this is not a free option for a lot of other tools. We do not see competitors right now analyzing databases. We do not see competitors right now having you sync with Notion databases consistently. And Notion's AI still can't figure out databases. So with that being said, we're doing pretty well here and we want you to get the most out of it. So make sure to use the link down below to check out TextCore Text, get the Chrome extension, and we'll see you in the next one.